Uh, we're now going to IFU versus SJ, and the first match is going to be none other than the undefeated Terran from IFU. It's IFU Cryoc versus SJ Whistler, who uh, recently rejoined the ranks of the active players. He was inactive for quite a while there. So yeah, this is gonna be super exciting. Now this uh, this time instead of uh, being a couple of teams who are a little bit lower in the rankings, uh, Ifu right now I believe is in a, is already in the qualifying spot for the playoffs. Yeah, so Ifu right now is in uh, tied in second place with Net Wars, um, and SJ is in fifth place. But like if they win this, I think they can probably. I think they might go above LRM at the least. I'm not sure if they go above. IFU. I don't think they would. Even if they 4 owed. But, uh, but yeah, SJ could definitely bump LRM out of the fourth place slot and then give themselves a much better chance of qualifying. I think if SJ wants a realistic chance to make the playoffs, they kind of have to win today and hopefully like win the next three as well. Um, but yeah, in particular, I think they have to win win today to get a get a decent shot. So, everything to play for. Here we go. Game number one, Heartbreak Ridge. Cryoc versus Whistler. And on the left side, we have SJ Whistler. And on the right side, we have IFU Cryoc. Uh, Right, another ZVT on HBR to start things off. Good times. Do, do, do. So yeah, as I said, Cryoc is actually undefeated in Gambit's Cup. He's 4-0, taking down such opponents as Infected and DeWalt even. Pretty crazy. Uh, whereas Whistler, I'm actually not sure of his, his overall score. He can't be that good, or rather, it can't be like one of the top 10 or else I'd remember it, I think, so... Uh, so yeah, because I actually I'm I'm the one doing the uh, the statistics on Wikipedia, so I uh, I can remember a few of these things. But uh, yeah, basically Whistler was one of the top players, kind of. Actually, when I when I just started, um, you know, doing a lot of casting, uh, so you know maybe uh, three or four months after I started casting, I remember Whistler kind of being quite a, a big name and, and being one of the top foreign players, top foreign Zergs. Um, I think he made the finals in one of the tournaments I casted or something like that, but uh, then kind of went AFK for six months or something and uh, has only just recently come back. Uh, basically just, you know, at the start of this season at Gambit's Cup, he suddenly showed up again and is now playing for SJ. So, uh, so yeah, it's quite interesting. I've actually seen him play a number of practice games, uh, mostly ZVZs, but I've seen him play against like Eon Zerg and against Bakaryu as well. I'm, you know, getting some, getting some pro tips from those guys. So, um, yeah, good stuff. Anyway, Cryoc, uh, you know, I, I always say he's like a TBZ specialist, but considering like he's beaten DeWalt and uh, and who else did he beat? Did he beat, uh, what was the other Protoss? He beat another Protoss, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, he's, he seems to be kind of an all-rounder. He also beat Gargoyle in TBT, aka Dima, so it's pretty impressive as well. We got a 12 patch here from Whistler, and what looks to be the beginnings of a one racks expand from Cryoc. It's everything going standard so far. But yeah, Cryoc is pretty beastly. And he's also playing in the C-Ranks Team League, which uh, <laughs> must be terrifying for, for the other players in that league. Anyway, if you're going to come in here see what's going on, I'm going to see nothing out of the ordinary. I'm trying to do a bit of harassment here, but not going to be able to do too much. Meanwhile, SCP Scout is going to see it as a 12 hatch. So he's going to feel very safe going for the 1x expand. He'll probably just do it off of one Marine. Just immediately uh, plant that command center at the natural. And we have a gas already from Whistler, so gonna be some two hatch action, it looks like. Uh, presumably two hatch Muta, but not necessarily. I think the SCV saw it as well, so Croc is gonna know what's going on. He should be prepared for some early uh, Mutalisk <coughs> aggression. And hopefully not die like, um, uh, what's his name did? Dima did in uh, set one of the last series. So, we have SCB being annoying. It's gonna run away soon though. There's a couple of links on the way. There's the command center planted at the natural, as I said. And it's like gonna have a second Rax now. No super fast gas, so it's not gonna be any kind of super fast plus one uh, follow up from Cryoc. It's just gonna be two Rax Acad, I would imagine. Academy incoming, maybe? 
You want SCP poking around? Gonna see the lair at the natural? I mean, Korok should know. Should know what's up. Should know how to defend it. Let's see how he defends it. Um, so on this map, you know, the main isn't that good for Muta uh, Harass actually, despite what we saw in the last series. Uh, you know, it, there's a lot of space here that the Mutas have to come in and the Marines can micro around. Like, the Minerals are pressed right against the edge of the map. Uh, the Natural's a bit easier to harass. Obviously, you have cliffs surrounding all sides, but, uh, you know, you can, like, build a turret on the high ground here to give you vision. So, really, it's more just dangerous from the top side here. Uh, from the back, you have some a little bit of space to, to maneuver. Um, so, really, just gotta pay attention to your Natural. Uh, the main shouldn't be too hard to defend. Um, you can sometimes be at a bit of a risk because the cliff kind of extends out here. Whoa! Bit of Ling action going on here. It doesn't seem to have done anything. Tried to find an opening and grab a few free marine kills, but... Doesn't actually do it. But yeah, uh, Munis can kind of like try and abuse this little gap here and poke in and, you know, slap a few units here and slap a few units there. But, uh, but otherwise, I think Cryox shouldn't be... Shouldn't have too much difficulty. So we got Ling speed. About to finish. Any more lings on the way? Nope, just making drones. SCP scout gonna go chill at the back. Cryoc, nice and careful. Gonna check the back, uh, back mineral patch thing in my jigger. And we got a bunker at the front. Nice little sim city here as well with the depot. All standard things. And there's the academy. That academy feels a little bit slow to me. Um, notice he's already got 200 gas and. And this is not finished yet. I mean, it should really be finished in time, you know, before he gets, hits 200 so he can start getting upgrades. The gas upgrades here only take 100 gas each. So the timing seems a little bit off to me, even though he's getting the engineering bay now so he can get plus one. Uh, he's going to have quite a bit of gas banked. I feel like that's a little bit late. I don't know if you just forgot or something, but it definitely seems a bit, a bit weird. Yeah. Actually, is this 150 gas? I can't remember. It might be 100 or 150. Either way, he has the gas bank that he doesn't really need at the moment. So scouting SCV, gonna get chased away. We do just have a close third here from Whistler. Um, so getting that basically uh, as the mutas are are morphing. So not gonna go for any kind of crazy uh, two hatch muta all in. Um, he's just gonna follow up with the with a more macro style game. This is actually a style that uh, Eon Zerg really likes to play. Ooh, it's particularly this. Um, going for 2-hatch Muta and then following up with a, a very quick third as well as a quick Hydra Den. A lot of players going 2-hatch Muta will delay this Hydra Den a, a lot and just focus on Muta Ling. Sometimes even just go Crazy Zerg and go straight for, you know, Hive Tech. But uh, I, I see Eon Zerg actually do this a lot in ZBT where he goes for the 2-hatch Muta and then goes straight for a third and a Hydra Den as well to get Lurkers. And so he can be aggressive with the fast Mutas. Whoa my god, what is going on? Whistler, wake up dude, wake up, smell the coffee, smell the Marines. Micro the Mutas. Please. If you please. Anyway, so Mutas hitting, you know, as range is not even halfway done, it's pretty standard. You're going to edge Mutas. So these Marines, they have Stim, no range. They do have plus one on the way as well, but oh my god, that almost died. Man, I don't know what Whistler's doing. He's got to be a little bit more careful with his Mutas, though, because he's going to go to edge Muta. If you're going to go to edge Muta, you better have, you know, semi decent Muta Micro, otherwise, like, what's the point? Oh, guys, don't lose that one. Oh my god, what is he doing? Is he is he high or something? Is he drunk? Should, should, like, can we get a can we get a breath check? Can we ask him to walk in a straight line? I think he might be slightly intoxicated. I'm not sure. He might be. I mean, he's Scandinavian, so maybe they're always intoxicated. But you know, uh, it's looking a little bit a little bit weird. Anyway, the Marines are now moving out. The Mutas are just like goofing off at the top right. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, they need to actually like be killing these marines because otherwise he's gonna lose his third base. He's got lurkers on the way, maybe. Yeah, he's got lurkers on the way. He's got a queens that's on the way as well. He's basically just transitioned off of you know seven mutas, eight mutas, but has done literally zero damage with them. Uh, he might have just like killed a marine. I'm not really sure, but uh, he's gonna come back in time to intercept this marine force at least. All right, there's a scan. I'm gonna see them. Uh, that scan was actually to check for lurkers, but he got lucky and uh, saw the mutas as well. Um, one Lurker is almost done. There's the scan. He's going to run in here. Can he snipe this Lurker as it pops? The scan is still there. He can still target it down. The Lurker goes down. The Mutas are trying to take these, take on these Marines, but the Marines are just way too strong. More reinforcements coming in from the back, but these Marines are doing maximum damage right now. Oh, I'm not going to focus down the rest of the Mutas, I think. Oh, no. Gonna focus, focus, blah, blah, blah. Target Lurkers. I uh, can't seem to decide what they actually want to focus down. Oh, my God. Getting so many of the Mutas. Are they going to get that one as well? 
Oh, they get that Muta as well. Man, killing all but a single Mutalisk there. Really, really bad times for Whistler. The Mutas did basically nothing. You might as well have not made them. At least he forced a wonky turret placement here that's like messing up the gas mining. <laughs> that, this, this turret has done more damage to Cryox economy than all of the Mutas combined. Look, the amount of gas mining lost here is more, <laughs> is actually more than the Mutas. <laughs> Oh god. Oh well, at least he didn't lose his third. So he kept his third, he kept most of the drones alive. He has gone up to, uh, to, or rather, he has got Lurker Techs. He's, uh, he's going up to Hive. His Hive's actually already done here. That's actually pretty quick. Uh, considering he opened two edge meter. That's actually a really quick Hive. So, um, so he's actually not doing too bad. He's got these two Lurkers at the front. I don't think, was, uh, sorry, I don't think Cryo actually realizes there's only two here and he can actually just kill, uh, run out and kill those. But, uh,. But yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, there's like a couple of Scourge being morphed. Ooh, getting a, a cautionary creep there. Oh, there were actually three Lurkers here. One was actually stacked. I didn't even notice, but um, it doesn't really matter with a good arc there. It means easily take care of that. Cryoc, very competent uh, TVZ player, so going to be able to take that down. He was getting his, his Siege Mode, getting a Dropship now uh, before he gets... Whoa! Alright, no, that's a science facility. That's a second factory already. Okay, that's interesting. Going for a second factory off just three barracks, so... Um, I'm gonna start adding on some more mech units pretty quickly. I don't know if that's just for like two fat tanks or or if he's just gonna get some more vultures from that. I'm not really sure. Um, you can go with like two fat siege tanks and get a super powerful, you know, mid game attack. But uh, it's, not, it's a little bit unusual. Anyway, Quarak poking out of here. Nice scan there, just checking the ramp for, uh, checking the ridge rather for any lurkers. Very nice place to just put stop lurkers. And he's running for the natural. Final mounds there. Oh my god. Oh my god. None of the lurkers are finished. <laughs> None of them are finished. Oh god. There's only one finish. That one lurker actually heroically kills five marines. The marines are running into the main. Oh, they're going to focus on the final mound. Wait, what are they going to focus? They're just going to run into the main. <laughs> Marine run by. The sickest run by. And the lurkers are stuck. They can't get out. They can't get out. The marines are in the main. What the shit? <laughs> There's only three marines left, but what a baller move by Cryoc. Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> he's got three marines in his main and he can't chase them down because he's got no lings. He only has lurkers. Oh god, we're gonna see some boxer micro now. Oh my Cryoc is gonna kill everything. Oh god, hide behind the tree! Hide behind the tree! <laughs> Look, he's just killing all the lurkers. He doesn't even care. Cryoc doesn't afraid of anything. Okay, now he's gonna die though. Oh, maybe not. He's gonna hide behind the tree himself. He likes that tree. Good tree. Alright, what else is going on over here? Alright, looks like it's just gonna be mass vultures from those other two, uh, two factories. Whoa, it's a lot of queuing. See, but look at this. Cryoc's actually got a lot of money here. He doesn't have enough uh, infrastructure. He's like too busy goofing off and microing, but not actually making stuff, so even though that was cute and he killed a few lurkers, it's not actually that amazing. What is going on with this drone? Can you guys see that? Hold on. Is he gonna like do a loop-de-loop? -loop? I don't know, I thought we I thought we found some like crazy pathing bug here, but it looks like he was just doing something weird there. Anyway, dropship coming down here to the third base, completely undefended. The Zerg army actually just completely ran past right there. So oh my god, gonna do maximum damage. Oh god, he's not reacting. Whistler, your drones are dying! Your forces are under attack! There's not even a medic here. I think they're gonna kill Atri too. Oh god, the massacre. I think Whistler might just go for an all in counter attack here. He's got the Filer there, but man, look at this. The Maroons are moving out. Picking off a Lurker first. There's no mines here though. The mines haven't been laid yet. There's no mines on the Vultures yet actually. They got sp he got speed first. It's a curious choice. He's moving out. Slimes one of the Defiler. is very nice slime. He's trying to slide the second one. Isn't able to get it. But it looks like that Lurker was just out of the swarm. The third base is dead for Whistler now. I mean, he's basically all in on this attack. But everything is dead. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. At least that thing's not dead. He's got one Lurker left. Some Speed Vultures running out now as well. Uh, meanwhile, these Marines are just still alive, just chilling, killing everything. And Whistler is in bad shape. He's got no drones at the natural. His main is the only base that's saturated. He is in such horrendous shape here. Look at all those factories, man. Just complete mech switch off of just three, uh, three barracks. It's crazy. He's got like a million, uh, million sea tanks right now. 
there goes that guy. Swarm it! Uh Hey, Whistler's decided he needs like an entire army to kill eight marines with no medic. Oh wait, no, just kidding, he's going somewhere else. He's gonna expand to the top left instead. Sweet. So 141 supply for Cryoc against just 66 supply for Whistler. Seems bad. That's that's often bad, Berserk. It's pretty bad. I have not enough energy. Um, Cryoc, meanwhile, having this, some slight macro issues <laughs> with almost 2,000 minerals there per sec, but that's alright! It doesn't matter, because he's winning the game. Where's his third command center? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Where to mech at? Where to mech at? That's a lot of unrallied factories. You should probably rally them. <laughs> Why are these unrallied? What the hell? <laughs> is he just, like, hiding them? He's just gonna run out with, like, 28 vultures at some point and, and just suddenly kill everything? I don't know why those aren't rallied. I mean, clearly he sees they're unrallied because he's making stuff from them. Or, unless he has like all of them hotkey or something, which is a bit weird. Does he have like five factories hotkey? Huh. Oh, like a CB transfer from the back. I think it blocked a little bit, but Soldier's gonna take care of that one. Easy peasy. So, we're just chilling right now. Croc having some serious macro issues. He's even got mech now, it's not like he's just going pure bio, which I can understand is hard. He's like queued up 5 tanks, but he's supply blocked, and he's 3,000 minerals. Oh, nice plague! <laughs> uh, right. Oh, he didn't even have armories yet. Oh, that's gonna go badly for Terran. You're dead! But he found this base! Sorry, I mean, Zerg is basically dead right now, but we're just kind of waiting for Terran to kill him. And Cryoc is making a lot of, uh, like, simple macro errors, so it's it's kind of taking much longer than it than it should. But, but I mean, you know, it's 152 supply to, to 69, so I'm not, I'm not overly uh, <laughs> optimistic about this game for, for Whistler. Ba ba ba! Micro Nose Vultures! Kill everything! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! So Whistler, on the other hand, is just trying to be like super efficient with the Defilers, I guess. It's like pulling a Bokra here and not, leave, not leaving the game. Yoink. What?! How did that one not go off? I don't even know, man. Oh, tried to do a mindful there. Didn't work out. Scouting Barracks, good times. Good times, what we got in the main? See, actually, you know, part of the reason that Cryox's uh, minerals, minerals are so high is because since he's gone mech, he's like focusing on tanks and goliaths now, but he actually doesn't have that much gas, so he just has like the excess minerals. It's like in TBT when you go mech, you just have too many minerals anyway because you can't spend them. Um, so not like 100% his fault, it's like maybe 50% his fault, I don't know. Oh man, what's that actually has three lurkers here that I guess we're cleaning up that random run by from earlier and he just forgot about them, so these three lurkers could actually help him out a lot. I don't know man. Looks like four vultures are gonna kill a hatchery. Drop in the main, so we can do some more stuff. What do we got here? Random barracks attack. Come on Cryoc, finish him! Kill him! Kill him dude! I mean to be fair, Whistler should just kinda leave. He's back down to two bases, he's against a three base Terran. He's completely out macroed. He's like a hundred supply behind. Some Scourge just hit something, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the dropship. Chamon! Finish the game! Finish the game! Traffic jam! <laughs> I don't know why that's so amusing. That was quite funny though. Silly SCVs. What are they even doing? Where are they going? Alright, so he's taking a third. There's a drop! The three fireman, three medic drop! The classic! Yeah, play! And they're still gonna roast a bunch of links. Shoot. 
Doo -doo 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 -doo. Man, Quiok is actually just playing this out as if he doesn't have a monstrous advantage right now. Look at this, he's like, oh, uh, let me let me just like safely take my fourth with Siege Tank's position on the ridge. Dude, just unsiege and A move! A move! Feel the Protoss! Man, seriously, just pretend you're Protoss, just go kill him. Just A move it. Did he actually lose all his barracks? He can't actually, I think he lost all his barracks, so he has to remake it so he can make factories. But seriously though, A move. A move! A move! A move time. Whistler, he's got the good old triple defiler. He's just playing all the SEVs. Come on, play the SEVs, baby. Do it. Do it. Ow! Oh, he kind of missed, though. He got like four SEVs, and that's it. He's got no more plagues, though. <laughs> play it again. Play it until it dies. Go, go, go. He's hiding in the swarm. Why is this even lifted? There's no units here. Land it, man. It's mine. It's fine. There's only three defilers. <laughs> what? Dude, Cryog. Come on, man. Come on. Ah, dude, that didn't do anything. Come on! Somebody do something! Man, I'm gonna go, like, make a girl blog about this game. That's, that's like, how bad this is. Uh... Oh! A-move time! A-move! A move, Terran. 200 supply against 88. Alright, here we go. Here we go. He's gonna he's gonna run away. No, he's not gonna run away. He's gonna siege his 80 bajillion tanks. Hey, I heard you like Dark Swarm. Too bad my splash damage still kills your ass. Ha, 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 ha. So there's expanding. While dying. That's always a good plan. Bum, bum, bum. Kill him, kill him. I mean, okay, to be fair, to be fair, I mean, Cryox just wants to play safe, right? Because Whistler is a really high caliber player. So there's no point, you know, being over aggressive and then losing a game that you had won. So, like, I mean, I'm not completely upset at him for playing super defensive or by playing super cautious like this. Like, if I was playing, a, you know, somebody who I knew was better than me, like Whistler, I would play pretty carefully too after I had an advantage. Um. But yeah, looks like we're finally gonna end the game now. That is many siege tank. There's one lurker alive. Almost here, you dead. Out the game. Out the game. GG. Done. All right, sweet. And that was just game one. All right, Cryok, still undefeated. He's like, what is he, 5-0 and now? What a baller. And set number two is going to be... Somebody, I don't know. Let me just make the game.